Well, St. John's, uh, they, they pose some serious problems to pretty much everybody they play. Uh, you know, tonight they, they made the decision to go with five guards most of the time. The only, you know, and we weren't, uh, we were helping off Simon, so they didn't play him. Uh, and they didn't play Keita much either. So when they put five shooters out there, um, you know, we have to find a place to put our center because uh, we're out of guards. Uh, uh, Connor will have an MRI tomorrow and could be out a while. Um, so, you know, they're, they're very difficult to guard. And, uh, you know, usually we haven't, had a, we haven't had a ton of clankers this year where we just haven't hooked it up haven't played the way I think we're capable of playing. Uh, and we had one tonight. And you, you have to credit St. John's for a lot of that uh, because we played 21 games and this hasn't happened to us on the offensive end of the floor. Uh, we'll go back and look at the film and evaluate the shot quality. Were they good shots that we missed or weren't they good enough shots? But when a team isn't ready to play or they, they don't handle success properly, Generally, in my experience, that manifests itself on the practice floor. And as I told the team, I, I felt like we had two great practices the last two days. I felt as good about our preparation and our mental state going into this game as I have any one of our conference games. And for whatever reason, we didn't have it. And we had a couple guys that, that have been playing really well, really well that had poor games. And it happens in the game of basketball sometimes. Uh, and we just have to make sure it, this doesn't impact us more than tonight. We'll, 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 I'll watch it tonight. We'll share some things with the guys tomorrow. And we need to wipe it. And we need to get ready for an important game against Xavier on Sunday. Questions for the student athletes? I guess you didn't mind, Mr. Martin. When, when they started to get going offensively, and Shamari specifically, what made it just really difficult to stop them? I think maybe the last five minutes of the half and carried over into the second. Uh, I mean, I thought just some more he got in his rhythm. He just made some tough, tough, uh, some tough shots, you know, at the end of the shot clock and at the end of the first half. So he just got going, and um, it was tough to stop him. I mean, yeah, when he gets it going, uh, he's almost unstoppable. But uh, uh, if we eliminate those tough shots he took, um, cover everything else, we, we're still winning the game. Just making him uncomfortable, you know. You know, I thought our team defense was better. You know, second half, I thought we, uh, you know, I thought um, I did a poor job regarding the ball screen. You know, I, I thought he, you know, went, um, like, uh, what's what's the word? Like opposite from the screen a few times on me. That's on me. But overall, yeah, I was just trying to, you know, make him un uncomfortable, pick him up at a higher point. I think they do a good job of scrambling, um, switching uh, up top the ball screen, and they switch again when I when I dive uh, down to the basket. And uh, sometimes we had those corners open. Um, we got we got a couple open shots, but uh, I guess we didn't execute it well enough to get the scoreboard. For both you guys, Marcus Martin, what? I mean, coach is talking about for whatever reason just kind of not having it. Did you guys sense that on the floor? And was there anything that you guys noticed that you know uh, was different, maybe? Just like he said, I think I thought we had a two uh, good days of practice. Um, obviously, we didn't bring it in. Um, um, it's just one of those games, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I thought our coaches put us put ourselves in, in a position to be successful. You know, this, these past two practices were, uh, were really good for us. You know, I thought we were, you know, really locked in, you know, the whole, the whole, the whole time. You know, f f um, for whatever reason, you know, we just, you know, di just didn't get it done tonight. You know, that, that's on us. Did you, I guess, did you notice anything about, because you've played them twice now after they've lost two in a row. So, did you notice anything about their urgency and maybe comparison to yours being that they were trying to get off? Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I definitely think that you know they played, you know, 
they played pretty hard. You know, they, I thought they beat us to a few loose balls, which can't happen, especially on our home floor. So, you know, we, all we got to do is just look at the film, learn from it, you know, you know, you know, and um, fix it. Two more for the student athletes. When did you get a sense that you guys didn't have the necessary, maybe the urgency that they had to? to there were a couple plays uh, during that stretch um, where maybe we're a little late, a little slow getting to the floor, or not, a, you know, they missed a shot. They got, you know, they only had three offensive rebounds the first half, but they scored on all three of them, I believe, or two of the three. Um, you know, I just, for whatever reason, I just thought we were a little flat, which doesn't make a lot of sense. And, you know, we missed, uh, I think our shot quality, especially early, uh, was pretty good. You know, Mitch had a wide open one, you know, Marcus, and, you know, we didn't have, we had one turnover, or two turnovers in the first 18 possessions, and that's, and we had the lead, and then we turned it over four out of nine times to start the second half when you're trying to get back in the game. And, uh, you know, like I said, it's a, it's a hard matchup. Uh, when you're, you know, and, and, and to counter that, we tried to go to some zone. And to their credit, every time we did, usually they hit a three point shot. So, um, you know, they made us pay for whatever, whatever we did tonight. How much of that was, I mean, sometimes shots just go in. I mean, how much of that was just, was your intensity on defense lacking? Or is uh, one of those you know, they made some bombs and they had a couple that hit the dead back of the rim and all of a sudden the ball deflated and <laughs> rolled in, in, you know, and you need some of that to go your way. Uh, but, Generally, when a team's rolling, you, you get the bounce of the ball like that. And uh, but they they were really good tonight. I mean, don't kid yourself. Uh, when 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 they hook it up and they play, uh, you know, and they have the ability to go small like that. Not everybody guards them the way we try to. Uh, and and we had some success against them at their place guarding them that way. It was some of our live ball turnovers that got us in trouble where they scored in transition. You know, tonight the. You know, if you'd have told me we we're going to have more points in the paint, points off turnovers were essentially even. Uh, fast break points, pretty even. I would have said we got it. We have a great chance to win. Uh, but you know, we we didn't make many shots, and uh, you know, they were pretty good, especially very efficient the second half. I probably want to watch the film, but did you take too many threes. Uh, I, I don't. I don't think so. I mean, you you take what they give you. I mean, Villanova took forty two the other day, so. You know, we're one of the best three-point shooting teams in the country, so I don't know that you can take too many threes. Um, and, you know, we got Teeny some touches the second half to start. Part of that was on him with his movement and his activity. Uh, you know, we had a hard time getting him started to start the game, yet when Sam went in, Sam got three or four touches right away. So, you know, sometimes, it's, sometimes it isn't the offense, it's the player. And sometimes as a coach, you have to do a better job to get that player going. And, uh, you know, we tried to get Teeny jump started a little bit the second half. With, with your threes, I guess, well, um, St. John's obviously can put a small lineup together, but they have a lot of length with that small lineup. I guess, how dis, how much was them disrupting maybe your shot rhythm, <sighs> or just some of the things? You know, I'd, I, I thought most, I thought a couple of them were quick. Uh, we had a couple late shot clocks, obviously, that weren't great. Uh, but I thought for the most part, I think when I go look at it, it a lot of them are going to be shots that Mitch and Tyshawn and Marcus have made a, over a 40% clip all season long. So, especially in this building. So, I mean, the last thing I want to do in this building is have our guys questioning whether they should shoot a three-point shot. You know, we've we've shot it great here, and we'll continue to shoot it great here tonight. We didn't. Shamari got going. It's it's, you know, it's hard. It, you know, we. You know, we he, we we ended up in a switch once, and you know, we we let him take a three. You can't let him take a three. Uh, you know, some of our ball screen. While Sam was doing some good things on the offensive end, obviously it's a challenge for him uh, at this stage of his career to be up there uh, trying to defend that. But he's he's trying. He's getting better. Uh, but the, you know, they just there's a mismatch on the floor somewhere, and you know they do as good a job as anybody in our league of taking advantage of those mismatches. Over the course of the season, there's always ebbs and flows, and some teams have it, and some teams don't. But is there a lesson to be learned here, just in terms of like I think of the Butler game that team came out. Ready for that sort of uh, 
like, like I said, I, that usually manifests itself on the practice floor, uh, and we had two great practices. Um, yeah, so you were, so we were I, ready. I felt great about our preparation, and we're playing for a lot too. Now, don't kid yourself. You know, we're fighting for our lives here. So, uh, yeah, they've lost a few games, but you know their record is basically the same as ours. You know, we're we're, we're fighting to get in the league. Uh, so, you know, we're fighting to get to the same place. So, you know, there's there's a lot riding on. On, on a game like this, and you know it's a goofy league. You know Butler, you know Butler beats St. John's the other day, kind of handily, and St. John's just beat us handily. You know they just Georgetown just went in and beat them. We went to Georgetown and won. So like, flip a coin. Uh, you know they, like you, you've got to be ready every single night. And if you're a little bit off, um, there isn't a team in this league that can't beat you. And I said that at the beginning, and that proved to be true tonight. Like they they were really good, and and we weren't. And they had. They were certainly part of the. A big part of the reason we weren't very good was how good they were. How much, how much extra urgency now? This next home game here to try and get back on track before we get on. The yeah, there's urgency every game, and you know Xavier's going to come in here. They they play. I think they're at Georgetown tomorrow, uh, but whether they win or lose, we're both going to. It's going to be a similar game. We're fighting for our lives, uh, and the games become really really important. And uh, you know they their matchup problems that they present are, are certainly challenging, but they're totally different than what St. John's presents. And, uh, you know, St. John's made some shots tonight, but, you know, we forced them into some turnovers. We kept them off the foul line. Uh, I really thought that would have been a recipe for success, uh, but, uh, you know, they were, they were too good tonight. Uh, he'll have an MRI on his on his clavicle tomorrow. Uh, whether it's you know find out whether there's a fracture or not. Uh, he got caught got caught on that screen and was trying to chase it and got hit pretty good in his shoulder. So uh, we'll hope for good news tomorrow. And Damian Jefferson did, did a few extra things in practice. Yeah, other, I mean he's getting closer. I, I you know I, I still think he's you know week ten days two weeks. You know it's uh, it'll be two weeks tomorrow for the surgery. So I think. You know, hoping for anything ahead of three or three to four weeks is probably wishful thinking. Thank you. Thanks. Everybody get a book that needs one? Yes.